Welcome to part two of this tutorial series, whereby we, we are creating a quiz application. In this tutorial uh, episode, I would like us to learn how to install Laravel. And uh, for us to be able to install a Laravel in our machine and run it, we also need to have several other things that uh, Laravel depends on. And so I am just going to show you what we need. The first thing that we need to install is called a ZAMP. And this one will be our server on our local machine. And of course, it will also contain the server, which is Apache. And we will also have MySQL out of the box. So we will click here and download the latest version. And then we also require to have Composer. That is another thing that we will be required to have so you you search google search and get composer and then uh, on this first website that we have here you click here and then click on download after that then you can click on windows installer and here you can have you have something that you can be able to download so you can see the zamp latest version is around 143 MB and Composer is just a small file. The next thing that you need to install is Git and I will just type in my search bar Git GIT and this one is what you also need so you, you click on download for Windows and then you will just choose click here to download because the machine is able to detect your the version that you require so click here to download and as at now we have the three things that we require for us to be able to work with this so uh, because in my machine I've already installed ZAMP I have Composer and I have Git all of them installed I would would like you maybe to post this video and be able to ensure that your downloads are complete and ra run ZAMP at first and you can go with the defaults. You just click next up until the end and then you will install Composer and then finally you can also install Git in that order. After that, then you will have an ability of running uh, ZAMP on your machine Already mine is running, but uh, let me just show you what you what you 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 are supposed to do here. When you come and search, of course, I'm working on Windows. And that's why uh, this application, uh, I mean, whatever it is that I'm doing, is sort of like one way uh, it you work on Windows. But if you're working on Mac or any other thing, you have now to do the setup in your own way. So I will click on um, I will search ZAMP here. And then we are going to open it. So once we open, you have a control panel that look like, looks like this. You click Start on Apache and MySQL. Just those two are enough. The next thing I want us to go to go and do is to open um, Git Bash. So in this case, I will just uh, maybe navigate to the the folder that houses our. Um, application so in this case i will go to local disk c and then i will go to the folder called zamp and you will be having this folder once you have installed then as you can see inside zamp we have a folder called htdocs i want to right click on this one and uh, click on git bash here so you can see i'm using the git that we installed but also it comes with other functionalities that we can be able to work on. Let me modify this one such that maybe we can it can be a little bit visible. So let us look at options. And I want to make the text a little bit bigger. So uh, text, I want it to be 18. Maybe let it be bold such that you can be able to uh, clearly see what I'm doing. Now, once we have that, the next thing we are going to do is to install Laravel. And Laravel has a website which is uh, which contains very, very, very uh, good documentation of, 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 of the same. So it is found in Laravel.com. And so I can just search Laravel. And then the first link that comes up is our website. And so this is the one that we'll be using. If you can, if you are stuck somewhere, you can go and check 
and read out anything that you'd like to acclimatize with. So under documentation, of course, we have a place where we have installation. So I would like to just scroll downwards here and uh, there are various ways of installing this application but uh, I would like to just use this one here. Composer create project Laravel Laravel example app or whatever application you are creating. So let us go ahead and use that command to create what I want us to do. So we are going to say Composer create hyphen project Laravel forward slash Laravel and then the name of our application. In this case, what we are creating is a quiz app. So let me just uh, write quiz, uh, maybe underscore app. I do not know if it will accept that. Then I'm going to press enter. And uh, it seems I have another application called by, called by that name. So let me clear and try a different name, composer create project Laravel forward slash Laravel and then we can say quiz application like that and this one I believe there is no other application like that so this command will install our Laravel application and I'm going to just post this video and come back when the installation is complete and then I can be able to just run it at first and then you can be able to see how the look of it when we run the application at first. Our application is fully installed and so I would like us to just go ahead and see if we can be able to run it. So let me clear terminal. And then I would like to just move into the directory that we have just created. If you check inside uh, this um, htdocs, we have a folder now called quiz application. This one here, quiz application, is the one that we have created right now. So I want us to change directory and hop into it. So cd quiz application. And now we are inside that uh, Laravel application, the scaffolding that has been created for us. And I want us to just go ahead and uh, be able to run this application. And so for us to be able to run the application, we are going to use a command that is usually used in Laravel. And we are going to use the command php artisan, like that. And then we say what we want. I would just like to press enter here. And you can see that there are so many commands that you can be able to run in Laravel. So many, so many. Maybe you can just take a look and just appreciate even if you do not understand anything do not worry so let me clear this and just teach you one command the first command we are going to talk about is php artisan serve and this one what it does it fires up our application server and actually we can be able to view our laravel application on the browser so let me click on this now you can see it says that server is running on 127.001 full colon 8000. So if I want to access our application, I can just click here and type localhost full colon 8000. Local host and then full colon, then 8000, like that. Once I press enter, you can see we have an application already running. So uh, Laravel is really interesting and you can see that inside here we have some links that when you click they take you somewhere but this one is sort of like the sp splash page for Laravel and um, I believe up until here you have been able to install Laravel in your application and we will continue in the next tutorial to look at uh, something else and then go onwards like that until we are able to build the quiz application. Thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point.